Exactly. Wow. Um, and except there's, there's, there's one player who I'm not sure where he's spending his points um, because every once in a while I'm like, how, how do you not have that skill that's sort of core to your concept? <laughs> oh, I just never wonderful. got it. <laughs> yeah. He always seems mildly surprised too, though. That's the thing. It's yeah. like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I thought underwater basket weaving was going to be more important than it actually is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, no, it's sort of like he's a rogue, but he doesn't have stealth. You know, it's that sort of thing that you're like, what? what? <laughs> how'd, you do, how'd you do that? <laughs> That's just silly. Um, so, let me set up where you guys are, are at, and we can talk about what you want to do. Um, last week we did those, uh, those just sort of once around, and uh, we followed up with the autumn court stuff, and uh, then people did sort of individual things. Uh, the two sort of pieces that are on the agenda for you guys are still the summer and the spring court. Uh, so there are still issues that are out there, and earlier on you guys had discussed going to the spring court next to get the task, and then visiting the uh, going to the summer court next to get the task, and then visiting the spring court. Um, I don't know if we still want to do that. I don't know if you want to do that tonight, or if you guys want to do something else, other investigations, or individual things. And I'll kind of leave that in your hands. Essentially, you guys have had several days of downtime, uh, running off to, to do things. John's come back with a fat wad of cash, um, uh, smelling of motor oil. Um, and uh, Morose has come back with a, uh, a box of eggs uh, that uh, hum ominously. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 eggs that hum ominously? ominously? <laughs> ominous. I mean, they're like yes. chicken eggs, or are they larger? They, they, she has a, a clear plastic, uh, uh, like, free-range egg container that has four eggs in it that are... One of them looks like it's sort of cracked with volcanic lava. Um, uh, another one just sort of spins. Um, uh, there's a fourth one that's that's black, uh, and another one has a pattern that sort of almost looks fractal and keeps moving. And they're all warm to the touch. That's fascinating. Hmm. No. Not as fascinating as all this money. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to buy us? <laughs> yeah. Big spender. I need a telescope. I could build you a telescope. Okay, get to it. <laughs> <laughs> and she would like a telescope, so. Yes. <laughs> um, but I don't know what you guys uh, feel like you want to do. Um, uh, again, you guys had a chance to build up a little bit in, in the house. Things have been straightened up. Um, you guys do have full electricity, the Wi-Fi, all of that kind of thing. Theodora is gone during the day and there in the evenings. Um, uh, and uh, you guys have made some contacts with some other other uh, changing NPCs and such. I always feel kind of guilty going about the official business with two people gone. Okay. I mean, if, if that's what we so, want to do, I, I'll totally go along with it. I just always I just feel guilty. <laughs> Well, I was going to send you uh, an email, Andrew, uh, on this that uh, just to tell you, to give you a heads up, uh, that that uh, Shu won't be playing anymore. Oh. Okay. And I'll, I'll talk with you offline about that, all right? Okay. Okay. Just to give you a heads up on that. All right. Oh, crap, and I didn't respond to your email either. I'm sorry. Damn you to hell. Damn you to hell, Andrew. <laughs> no, it's been a very hectic week. I, well, I know. I, I, I sent you that email. It. And then, like, the next three days, every one of your posts were like, I had to run and go do this and that. And so, oh, I timed that really well. <laughs> so no worries. Okay. I ran so, five games in seven days last week, five different uh, wow. uh, campaigns. And they were all so awesome. They were, uh. it, was, it was one of those weeks where I was batting, batting pretty well, so I... I, I but I was a little tired by Sunday. I was going to say, did you remember who you were by Sunday? Yeah. <laughs> well, then I then I played on Sunday, which is 
first game that I've played in in about a year and a half, and uh, um, it was pretty good. We killed some things. <laughs> tremendously <laughs> satisfied. <laughs> That's simple, awesome. elegant. So, yeah. yeah, that was the perfect description of a session. But, well, it was, <laughs> Things died. The, the previous week we had played, and this is the, the game that we were kind of getting used to the combat system, and we had been ravaged by wolves. These wolves, you know, three wolves had just, we were screaming. Sherry's <laughs> actions were to cry and weep. Um, <laughs> no. Uh, she, That's horrible. Um, she, her arm was crippled. Um, I, and so this week the GM made some changes to the combat system. <laughs> and we did. Maybe I won't kill you. <laughs> yeah, I think things got a little out of control there. So. Nice. Scary ass wolves. Yeah. yeah, they really were. And we were going. Is there something special about these wolves? Because <laughs> they're just regular wolves. We're like, oh god, they're demon wolves. <laughs> god, yeah. That was my thesis, but none of them accepted it. <laughs> they were just super secret and hiding. That's all. <laughs> yeah, they were really sneaky and mean. So. <laughs> Well, well, that being the case, then I, I no longer feel guilty because I know I know Kat's kind of in and out as her schedule allows anyway. So, mm -hmm. so if I don't know if we're gonna go after one of the big ones, I think um, my John's I should say vote personally is get the summer court over with. Okay, <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. What were we, do we know? We haven't actually taken a task yet. Correct. Right. right. We just finished up the autumn one. That's, so. Yeah, that's just the court that's not happy with John at the moment. <laughs> Yeah, oh. are we still on unhappy terms with them? Have they forgiven us about the smoke bomb yet? That hasn't been established. <laughs> I see. <laughs> this will this will probably establish the the facts of the situation. <laughs> okay. So, do you wish to to call up again? Uh, call up uh, um, Rumpelstiltskin and. Uh, uh, if, if we have a if we have a couple of days and that's what we're planning on doing, I would like to try to put together an improved ventilation system for the back room of the bar to pr present to them as an apology. <laughs> like a little like the little smoke thing that draws in smoke and filters it, like the little tabletop. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So well, let's here's have the you opposite of what I did. <laughs> yeah. Let's have you make a craft roll. Uh, two, three. Three. So you've got a nice thing. And you just kind of supercharge this with a nice little charcoal uh, activated bit in there. It's uh -huh. it's quiet. It hums. It should help keep down the, the nicotine paint on the walls uh, mm -hmm. of the room and uh, uh, reduce that. Um, and, it, and it looks... Looks looks fairly conventional. There, it's it's not going to raise suspicion in them. Okay. <laughs> uh, Morosa, I assume you'll call call your ogre colleague. Yes, I will call Rumpelstiltskin. Okay. <clears throat> and and uh, he will, will will take your call and he'll kind of listen. He goes, yeah, yeah. Um. Let let me go. Um. Let me let me let me let, let me let me go check. With everybody, okay? That seems like a good idea. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll wait put right the phone here. Down. Tell him I have an okay. apology. Okay. <laughs> He'll put the phone down on the counter again. Bad music going on in the background. That boom, 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 boom. Clearly walks in the back room. It's about ten minutes. He'll come back in and he'll say, "Uh, yeah. If you guys want to come in to tomorrow, uh, about the same time that you did last time, come in and." Uh, uh, she will will see you and uh, speak with you. Okay, thank you very much. We will be there. Oh, okay, okay. We'll 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 see you then. Okay. Click. That sounded ominous. <laughs> um. So, uh, is there anything, any other preparations you want to do besides the that, or can I cut forward to the next scene? I'm good. You yeah. can cut. Okay. So I'm going to make sandwiches. I'm practicing sandwiches. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful sandwiches. Tiny. Perfect. Full of flavor. 
Okay. You said tiny and perfect in the same sentence for a sandwich there, Marosa. I know. You make up for it in volume. Sure quantity. Are they peanut butter and jelly? A little low on the flavor. Peanut butter and jalapeno, though. Oh. <laughs> Pickle. You're God, woman. <laughs> They're kind uh, of addictive, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> These are intense little sandwiches, then. All right. Um, again. <laughs> garlic dill pickles, too. Right? Uh, yeah. mm, delicious. <laughs> and sweet uh, dill pickles. Big, sort of relatively open parking lot, except for the regulars who come here during the day to get their lunch um, or the late breakfast buffet. Uh, again, get that sort of dance area, the strip club, and the bar. It does look like when you go in, there's evidence of them having to do some industrial cleaning through here. Uh, like like they've had Service Master come in and do some things. And So the walls, are, it's a little bit brighter here because uh, they've had to clear some of the walls and things. Um, and uh, you guys will come in and you'll see uh, Rumble Stilkin and all. I'll, again, share his picture just to remind you what he looks like. That guy, that's what his uh, mask looks like. His mien is, he's pretty much an ogre, but the pompadour is made out of black duct tape uh, in his uh, pompadour uh, ogre form. And, and it's not like that's covering up horns or anything, right? No, it's just clearly he likes that look. Okay. Okay. Um, you guys will, will, he will kind of clearly call back to the back room, and you will see Father Cannon, another one uh, of the summer court, will come out. Again, his tattooed patterns, slightly different from before. They still have that sort of moving, almost animation look to them. Um, and he will will come out, walk up to where you guys are at, and he'll look and he'll nod, and he will say, John, right? It is John. Je uh, yeah, I nod, and I'm clearly doing my best to look penitent and, uh, and uh, uh, sorrowful, which are two emotions that are like an otter trying to wear a tuxedo on me. <laughs> he'll look back at, at the, the rest of you guys and he'll say I would like to have a word with John briefly off here to the side. If you you're could like, give us <clears throat> a moment. Just You're just going to talk, right? I absolutely promise I will merely speak Okay. With John. Go on now. Uh, and he'll look and it, are are it's you? Fine. Is that fine? He'll motion you over off to the side. He'll look at you. He's old. He's old for a changeling. Like, like clearly, you don't know if it's real old or if those are the years in the hedge that caught up with him. For some changelings, it doesn't wear on them. It doesn't weigh on them. But he has that sort of feeling of. Of, of age to him and the scars and the nicks say Wizened, uh when you were here last you had the opportunity to do many things you uh, could have for example left a noisemaker you could have, for example, left some sort of sprayer that would have spent for breeze about the room. Any number of things. I've, I've met smiths. I know your craft and your skills. But you chose to leave a smoke bomb and cause severe damage to the ventilation and air conditioning system here in this building in the court. Now, 
I just want to ask you, want to say, you understand what kind of message that sends? So I have one question for you. Is, okay. is, that, is that the message you intended to send? Or was there something else? Uh, it was not the message that I intended to send, sir. I uh, let my emotions get the better of me, I'm afraid. And I do not have the strongest resolve at times. And that was an error on my own fault. And I just ask that you do not take any repercussions out on me on the rest of my motley. No, no, no. I said that I would speak with with you and, and make sure that it was an oversight on your part, that you were not saying what others might have taken it for, a declaration of war against us. No, I meant no harm against the court. Ah. You are young. He says, I am old because... At one time, I was like you. And twice, I have been taken back into the hedge. So, be careful. Thank you. And he will turn back to you and walk, and he will say, Lean and Hungry Mike, we'll, we'll, we'll see you now. Um, please, come in. And he'll walk you back, back to that back room, and again, it's pretty much the same crew, uh, noisy, kind of watching off to the side, that sort of ogreish woman with the, the, the great big uh, sort of iron mitts on her hand that you almost think, almost suspect that might be uh, fastened or even uh, nailed to her hands. You're not sure. Um, uh, and, uh, of course, uh, Lean and Hungry Mike. And she does, how do I put this, uh, give you that, that stare when you come in of something like restrained anger, those tiger eyes. And uh, she will look, and Father Cannon will gesture. And uh, she will say, "So your motley has come to uh, ask a task of us, so that you may gain entrance to the to the, to the freehold." Yes, yeah. please, Prince, lean and hungry, Mike. All right, all right. Um, dun, dun, um, mm. uh, all right. I, I've and, and you've done two others. Yes. Hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, we're we're about uh, five days away uh, from uh, Valentine's Day. Was that okay? Hmm. What's a Valentine's Day? Uh, it's a it's a holiday, uh, a romantic holiday. Um, mm. uh, in, in any case, uh, often it is a big night for us. Uh, we do a, a fairly sizable event um, uh, and uh, drum up uh, a certain amount of business. And since we've had the opportunity to do some redecorating, long pause, uh, we're doing it as kind of a grand reopening. Ah. So here's where you come in and to go uh, Rumble Stolkin and he'll come over and he has wrapped up stacks of what appear to be some kind of playbill or coupon or something like that and he will set one each in front of you and then when you reach for it Andy he kind of no no don't, don't touch it don't touch it yet Mike will say these are invitations, uh, coupons, uh, essentially. Uh, it offers people a discount on their first drink when they come in that evening. 
here is what you are going to do for me. These have been keyed so that when you touch them, and you will in a second, they become yours. Marked essentially that they're in your possession. Each of you, each member of your motley, is going to arrange at least two dozen people to come here that evening and when I say people I mean humans to come here that evening willingly and spend some cash they'll turn in that coupon and that will be a marker that uh, your side of the bargain has been uh, proclaimed now here is the rub because I want to make sure that all of you are worthy of coming into the freehold you can help each other but each of you needs to personally convince two dozen. <laughs> <John screwed. laughs> Essentially, you have to be the one to hand and say the last thing to those people. You want that us to give out flyers? <laughs> yes. Yes, I do. And she smiles. Do you have any idea what my IQ is? <laughs> <laughs> Rosa goes, uh, uh, that doesn't actually have anything to do with IQ. <laughs> <laughs> exactly! <laughs> she goes, we are the summer court long of teeth and claw. You've come to me. Are you threatening I've me? <laughs> no. No. You'll know when I'm threatening you with your high IQ, fairest. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm putting a test to you, putting a task that uh, I need done. You want us to harvest humans for you? Hmm, I wouldn't say harvest. That seems a, a more... No, let's go with Harvest. I'll work with that one. Yeah, let's, let's be honest here. Yeah. I want them to come in. I want them to spend money. I want my evening here to be a success. Okay. And she'll go, that's all. Uh, uh, you can pick up the, the stack then. And Marosa goes and picks it up. Andy hesitates. John picks his up and replaces it with, and then replaces the, the pile with the device that he built. <laughs> you will see uh, uh, off to the side, Noisy kind of kind of get her hands, hear that the sort of cracking of iron knuckles there, and uh, Father Cannon will kind of reach his hand out to everybody get calm, and he'll say, is that something for us, Mr. Smith? It is a unworthy attempt at amends, sir. And what precisely is it? Uh, the and again, opposite. again, a room full of animals that are all kind of got their hair up, hackles up. <laughs> there, you kind of fit. You almost that again. Mostly a lot of beasts in here, so you get that kind of real animal smell in here when they kind of get a little nervous and angry. Um, the opposite of the last present I left. Pre You'll hear to her start to say "present," and she, he, he, uh, Cannon goes. It is uh, an air purifier of some sort? Yes. Uh, good, good. Uh, all right. Uh, your gift is appreciated, Mr. Smith. Is it that right, everybody? And you'll look around, and various knives are going back into sheaths, and <laughs> you know, weapons are getting put away, and... Well, we'll certainly try it out. And uh, Rumpelstiltkin will go kind of loom over you guys. Uh, why doesn't everybody grab other stuff and we'll, we'll move out of here now? How about that? Sounds good. John okay. scurries well, away. And we're walking. 
I'm well, Andy walking. reluctantly finally picks up the stupid stack and, and <laughs> that, but it's, she's clearly fighting this very beneath her. <laughs> <laughs> she gives and everybody and... looks that are getting more and more fierce, <laughs> like as the days go on. <laughs> Rumbles oh, like no. uh... <laughs> that went well. That went very well. John seemed like you calmed people down there. That's what I'm good at. Oh, good. Oh, well, uh, that's good. That, that'll help then. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's what you're good at? <laughs> I'd hate to see what you're bad at. I'm real safe. Thank Father Cannon for us, okay? <laughs> uh, he's he's kind, of, kind of a mover shaker, you know, and, uh, and he'll... Rumble will kind of turn to Andy and she'll go, uh, you know, I, 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 I know it, it may not be your fairest -y thing, but, you know, you're a fairest, right? So you can talk to people and charm them and be all adorable and things, right? Whatever. Oh, and can I oh, and Rosa goes, in, in theory, what? you ought to be good at it, Andy. In theory, I ought to be good at a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Socializing is not one of them. <laughs> now, don't get discouraged. <laughs> there. He's I have really, a plan. Humans are strange. Okay. That's all there is to it. <laughs> well, you're kind of one sometimes. And and uh, Rumble will say, uh, I'll get you back on the phone tree, Morosa, okay? okay? Oh, thank okay. you. We'll get you. Okay. Uh, and he'll say, "Is there anything you guys need? If if you can, you you can call me if you got any questions or anything comes up, or any problems." Do you know of that lots of vulnerable humans? Can I? Can, can, can I? It's made of vulnerable humans. Oh, right. Can Let's I make just Peter. double check one clarification? Oh, sure, so, sure, sure. We can do can anything we John, want. Or can I call you Johnny? Or is it John Smith? is fine. John boy. Oh, John. John, not John boy. Oh, that's like we Walton's. No, John. Okay. <laughs> We can assist each other as much as we want as long as we are physically handing out our own flyers, correct? Yes, and essentially saying the last words and handing the flyer to right. the person. Correct. Okay. Thank you. Yes, there are some loopholes. It shouldn't be that bad. Is this place – wait, wait, out, out of character. Um, is this place that we're at, is, is it a, a gambling establishment at all, or is it just a bar and, and restaurant kind of thing? Uh, it's a bar, strip club, buffet, uh, and there are slot machines. Okay. Because there's slot machines everywhere. That's true. <laughs> and video poker. Yes. We we just have to get them there. We don't have to make sure they're happy once they get there. Right. They have to spend money. He will say they need to oh. spend to at least buy something. Yeah. Is there, is there a cover? Uh, there is a cover, but that's I mean like a buy a drink <laughs> when they get in. Okay. Okay. Did he make that stipulation? <laughs> <laughs> it, uh. It should be fine. You guys are going to do great. You're going to do awesome. And I don't think this is so much Elvis like. It's just, it's just good, good fashion sense. It is very, Elvis -like. very okay. striking. Oh yeah, yeah. No, Elvis never looked like this. No, it's sort of biker. No, it's touches his hair. Kinda. It is. Yeah. And and she goes, it is. <laughs> I think you look dangerous. <laughs> Good, good. That's what, yeah. That's what I want. That's what I'm going for. I think he likes yep. you because you have duct tape on your head, and he always needs duct tape. Yeah, yeah. I've tried <laughs> I other things. Improve, I could not improve on that. Yeah. <laughs> I used to have a hedge spun wig. Ooh, what happened? John there? looks like his what head happened? is going to explode from all of the niceness. <laughs> uh, it, uh, <laughs> it, it we give him candy. <laughs> well, it, what? I what? It uh, turned out to be a little too hedge spun. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Did it? Did it come to life? Did it eat you? Wait, no, you're still here. Yes. Uh, no, I, 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 I actually don't want to talk about it. Oh, sorry. It's not That's a good okay. day. <laughs> and uh, he will see you guys out and uh, send you on your way out to your murder van, uh, so you can uh, uh, drive off. Um. So I have a plan. It's flawless. Oh, no. <laughs> flawless. Flawless. It's better be good. It is. Okay. So we're gonna go to some casinos. Okay. I don't know which ones yet. I'm going to crash their mainframe. 
and then pose as a repairman coming in to repair it. And as I'm repairing it, I'm going to reprogram the the uh, advertisements that pop up on the wall on the screens to say, call one of our numbers for the greatest Valentine's party that Las Vegas has ever seen. And then when they call each of us to check in on it, that person can show up and hand over the the invitation. I think you're, you're overthinking this, John. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they're just flyers. <laughs> yes. You just have to hand them to someone who looks like they want to go to a strip bar buffet. Have you looked at any other places on Vegas? This, 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 that place wasn't exactly the biggest, most crowd-drawing establishment that we've ever seen. They're, they're going to need a little nudge. And like Caesar's Palace saying, go here for this party, that alone could get our two dozen apiece over there. It's quantity. We need to get a quantity of people. And a quantity, quantity of jail time. Uh, well, not necessarily. <laughs> their, their machines break. No. They get fixed. <laughs> Plus, we get money. And There's. It's a win-win, about, win-win, win-win. How about we just go in and start gambling with people and then invite them over to parties? wanted to try this card counting thing. You that see. would require... I, I, have, I, have exuded, I have exuded my... Oh my god! I have put forth my positive personality traits for the day. <laughs> well, I'm officially you did a good out of job. nice. Perhaps you should rest for the rest of the day and start afresh tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to push yourself... <laughs> I thought oh, I was going to have a brain hemorrhage. Oh, you did good. Well, you only got shaky towards the end there. So. Well, it's a, a strip club, so so they have have lots of loose naked women around. So maybe if we just push that particular aspect, uh, Again, more people will be likely. The quality of the loose naked women that are in that establishment. Well, but here's the thing: is is like loose. if they see Andy <laughs> passing them out, they'll think she's the quality of the woman that would be there. What? So that and is... if they see me passing them out, <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, you, you get a problem. <laughs> okay, fine. Maybe that's what I'll do for my portion of handing out the things. I'll leave my number behind. Wait, wait, I was no, just trying no, to help that's everybody. It. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. Wait, wait. Andy will pretend that she's totally into John Smith because he's gone to this particular place, and then he still has to say, "Hey, you want you want chicks like this? Then then you gotta go here." That's not a bad idea. <laughs> I'm not an Certainly. actor. <laughs> well, you got that. Let's see here. How about I could maybe scare people into going. I I I, I don't I don't think you could. I mean. You know, that's scare them into spending money. That that's kind of robbery. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you could get them to do it, Valid because this point. is like something Maybe. they do days later. So <laughs> that's a hard one. Well, I'm going to assume that you guys will will be discussing this back at the that's uh, what I figured. at, yeah. at some swept ranch certainly. Um, I do have a question before you guys kind of go into yes, planning. Yes, with stage. many little sandwiches to try. Yes. Oh yes. This could take hours, you know. So, <laughs> you had spoken about going and paying a call on the spring court after getting the task. Did you still want to do that, or do you want to work on the task? Um, Why do we want about... to the spring court just because? Because they're the last. Uh, that's all we've been doing the rest of them. Right. We we'll take a task and then go make yes, the initial we introduction. Do that. It'll let us think of, of fantastic ideas for luring um, humans. We've already found a fantastic idea. I just need to make you guys realize it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you, you know, well, you, well, you I, I, I say that, th- I'll distract them by... Just think how impressed cars. they'll be when instead of, you know, two dozen apiece, we're talking like the place has filled the capacity and they have to start turning people away because of us. Mar- Mar- is like, why don't we just go to the strip and hand them out... And like after Andy and I get done handing ours out, we can hang together and you know kind of call people over. All you have to do is hand them the thing after we're done doing this spiel. I could build a custom-made flyer distribution machine. They have to be distributed by us. They have to touch our hands last. That won't work. 
This does not sound like a very exciting task. Did, did we get Andy more than the allotted amount than, yes. than we actually have to have? So, so we can give some away and people not show up, and we're okay. Yeah. You've got about uh, 250 each. Okay, well, this actually, might, this whole just this hanging out on the strip and, and, and somebody will have to dress Andy. <laughs> <laughs> I can I'm assuming that. that this conversation is happening as we're driving back home, as we're on our way right. to the Spring Court. Possibly in on. silences during the discussion at the Spring Court. <laughs> Long pause. John goes, and I could build a robot costume. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now you're getting somewhere. <laughs> like, oh, what were you saying? <laughs> um, you will. No, we've got something on our minds. <laughs> You will call the winter court. Simon will will make Maybe the arrangements. In red there. <laughs> okay, yes, we can do it. <laughs> and he will say, uh, "Let me make those arrangements for you to to meet with uh, the the prince of the spring court with the verdant uh, court. Uh, they are in session now. They are in charge." Uh, um, uh, but I'm sure they'll they'll be able to to make room in your schedule. Um, just um, he does kind of. Uh, it's gonna just take me uh, a bit, and he probably takes about half hour, forty five minutes before he calls you back and says, um, uh, "They will see you. Uh, you should head down to the strip, uh, and uh, if you go, and he kind of sends you Google Map instructions." Go here. Go to this parking garage for the Vidara, um, and uh, go to the uh, this valet office, and they'll have someone waiting to take you on up. All right. Um, he we says. Take our flyer since we're going to be on the strip. All right. Uh, says, what, uh, dress what kind well. of court is this? Oh, dress that was well. what I wanted to know about. Okay. Wait, what does dress well mean? Does that mean dress it, formally or dress businessly or dress... <laughs> John's, John's going to wear his same outfit but put a bow tie on. <laughs> <That'd be> cool. <laughs> With the overalls? Yes. <laughs> is it a denim bow tie? Yep. <laughs> Is it clip on? <laughs> no, I'm gonna say the bow tie is like really, really nice and fancy, but he's still wearing <laughs> grease covered overalls and shirt. <laughs> Simon will say um, they're a little more. Uh, oh, they can be a little more uh, uh, of the airs. I, I I don't know exactly how to put it. I would just uh, don't don't uh, uh, present yourself as you wish to be. Received, uh, how they will they will take your appearance as a sign of of what you mean to say about yourself. I mean to say about myself that I'm a mechanic. Yes, that's what you'll be saying. Not a smith, mechanic. So uh, uh, anyway, uh, you should you should get going, and uh, they'll they'll meet you there. So how do you want to dress, Morosa? Yeah. How do I want to dress? That's a tough one. Okay, well, let's see here. Probably, probably dress to impress. Okay. I mean, she she competed as you know in the diva role as much as she could, so she has that. She has that kind of wild. Uh, ogre sensuality, and uh, she'll play that up. Okay, um, so why don't you make a something with glitter and and okay. lots of legs showing, but long. Okay. How about expre expression plus presence? I just I want to see kind of <sighs> since this is actually one of your. I got to look skill that up. And so on. What? Why don't you with costuming to. With costuming yes. to uh, assist? All yes. right. That. Okay. Presence plus manipul or plus expression. Plus expression. Okay. Four. Expression. Okay. 
Oh, wow. Okay, so four nines <laughs> and an eight. So critical. I Yes. All right. Uh, so you'll be able to, to get, since you, you know, have all the seamstress and the costuming and things, you'll be able to get yourself set there. Uh, Andy, yeah. how do you want to approach this? Andy wears, a, I'm looking for a picture, but um, she's basically going to wear a black and white striped pencil skirt that hugs her curves and goes down to just below her knees. And um, with that, she's going to wear uh, a, a very, very nice silk uh, uh, black kind of a a, a, a a tank top thing. It's, it's a kind of like imagine it kind of like a high waisted uh, skirt, and then 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 the, then the shirt that kind of billows out just a little bit, and then she has a, a short cut bolero over that. That's 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 uh, that's black with uh, sequin sparkles all over it. Her so she's gonna Absolutely. look like a starlet. She looks like a Ferris. <laughs> 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 yes, right. that's a very good one. I, I'm going for that kind of, um, um, I don't know, how, kind of a starlit kind of look. <laughs> and it is one of the things that's interesting you guys discover is that there's a real difference in, because you guys don't have hedge spun, in dressing for your mask and dressing for your me uh, oh, yeah. in terms of figuring out how what, what one looks like in, in either one. Um, and John, you want to go good straight mechanical or nope? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, how much time do we have? Uh, you got about uh, two hours. Oh, that's not going to be enough time <laughs> <laughs> to build your robot suit. <laughs> that's, I was I was I was going to make I was going to make a mechanical set of over overalls exactly like my own that just like look very fancy to make it very apparent that I am a smith, and then add a bow tie that is an actual bow tie. <laughs> Because I need to make up for the impression I made on the summer court, but I won't have enough time to do that. Um, oh. uh, Smith, man, I don't know. I guess John is going to try and track down a tuxedo or something. He doesn't know how to dress. <laughs> He, well, he, I do have costuming. I could try to help him, Lowell. Find, like, a nice suit, and he could put, like, you know, his tools and his clock, his uh, watch or something fancy on, some of his little mechanical doodads okay. on chains. Do, do you want to go with him. something like that? or um, And you could send Teodoro out to one of the tuxedo rental places if you wanted. Yeah, I do that. Since John has uh, some money, he can get you some extra parts. Yeah, yeah, like shoes and stuff. Cumber bun. Wait, I have to wear shoes? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We've or boots. I to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> boots are okay? Yes. Okay, boots I'll, do, okay. I'll, do, I'll do boots. Can I, can I at least wear my tool belts? No. Over it? How am I supposed what, to fix what, anything? Wear, wear the cumber bun over the tool belt. You'll be okay. Okay, fine. That's what... Uh... <laughs> That's what cumber buns are for. <laughs> Super Rosa, look at look at Andy like, oh my god! What are All you right, Marosa, uh, are you going to make an expression plus uh, presence roll? Uh, the difficulty is going to be you're going to lose three dice. <laughs> but it's costuming, time. right? Gone. This yes. may be my only. Okay, so I'm going to lose. The name just of just this think penalty. of this as your piece of resistance. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of keeps starting, then she backs up. She's <laughs> dressing a fire hydrant. <laughs> okay. We'll call this a silk purse. That's not penalty. bad. Okay, so I got I got a nine and an eight. Okay. So John, so she gets it kind of set, gets it kind of working. Got the boots that have a kind of a little more workmanlike look to them. They 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 have the steel toes that you would like. Uh, the tool belt's concealed, probably run a little off-center for you with the, the cummerbund on it and the, the, the jacket and the, the bow tie. Bright red to kind of draw attention there. Um, and you look you look like you're going to your brother's wedding or something. Uh, and you don't kind of like him, you know, that, that sort of thing. Rosa, do we have time for me to install rockets in my boots? 
No. At least. No. That's too bad, though. Next time for sure. <laughs> well, the next time this happens, I'm going to make sure I have my suit that I want to design. I guess. Well, I, yeah, Thank you. or a jetpack at least. So. Thank you for your assistance. It looks good. Scene. The brass, the brass colored vest looks really good on you. Thanks. Let's go. <laughs> and, and you guys, as it's getting on evening, will will drive uh, down uh, the strip. Um, this is the, sort of the center strip area uh, 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 next to the Bellagio, um, uh, just up from the, the Luxor and those places, uh, um, and you know, and. It's kind of a little bit offset. Come around down into an underground parking garage. Um, you've been given a, a name to announce at the, the gate. They'll they'll do that. They'll give you a, 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 a ticket, and they'll direct you to the valet station you need to head to. Um, and it does look, as you guys drive down there, they've got a reserved spot for you. And uh, you'll pull in, and it looks like there's a concierge who's waiting for you. And uh, he will, will will nod, and he will say, "Is this the scorned party?" That's correct. Ah, uh, all right. Uh, if you'll please follow me, then uh, I'll take you on up to the offices. All right. Looks oh, like a, yeah. a mortal. Is he? No. <laughs> I just had a quick question I want to ask that I've been meaning to ask this entire campaign, and I've been forgetting every single session. Sure. <laughs> Sure. When you're talking about the drive over here, does anyone else have drive besides me, or am I assumed to be our driver? I, I always think... take a dot, because okay. otherwise you end up in a car chase, and it's, it's pitiful. <laughs> okay. Andy, Just... Andy, Andy doesn't know how to drive, and she's, she's a little bit too smart to ever learn. She's like <laughs> one of those crazy math, mathematicists who can't drive a car, but can't know. <laughs> <laughs> but she can roller skate like mad. So. <laughs> That's actually why I asked if it ever came to a car chase who was going to be the one making the madcap roller. Well, you would probably be better at it. But yeah. I will not immediately drive us the wrong way through one of those uh, <laughs> gates with the tire shredder. That's... Right, sorry to interrupt a little. No, no, that's fine. Uh, and it's actually a good question. Um, uh, and you guys, again, Vegas has a weird set of transport things now. Buses, um, lots of automated cars, uh, the extensive monorail that uh, um, Amber would have told you that she fought the aliens on, um, and uh, uh, all of that uh, sort of thing. Um, the concierge so what's a car chase in an automated car like? That's what I want to do. It's really like. boring. <laughs> Car faster. <laughs> Proximity alert. Slowing down. <laughs> but here's the thing: it's, it's at that point that I picture John leaning forward and hot wiring. <laughs> Damn <Yes>. straight. <laughs> <laughs> Um, concierge will walk you in, picks you up what's clearly sort of a back uh, VIP hallway, um, walks you in through. Uh, again, you'll start to hear the the, the sound of of uh, 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 various uh, uh, um, slot machines and and uh, all of the, sort of the bells and whistles. Walk you walks you out uh, clearly across the casino floor. Been told to kind of take you this way. Great. Big atrium, noise, people, um, loud. Uh, it's it's just this chaos of, of of lights and noise. Even even though it's it's not you know a bit particularly busy time, but there's just so much going on. So many sources of light. So many different ways to go. And the, the places inside are kind of maze like as as you move along. And he'll move you through uh, what's clearly the the aria section of this sort of complex over to the Vidara. Looks like you can see there are different sort of shopping districts here, um, different hotel areas, restaurants, you know, all that kind of high end uh, glitzy stuff. Um, and, but he'll take you over to what appears to be a set of private business elevators, um, and uh, uh, he will. We'll use a key and turn the key in the thing and call an elevator, and it will come down. 
If you guys walk in one of those glass elevators so you can look out onto a larger atrium, you'll see they've got a, an indoor waterfall, uh, tropical plants down there. The whole atrium looks like they've done a kind of an Amazon rainforest look to it. So you can see birds flying around inside there. Um, probably see some of those uh, various colored lizards kind of spots up on the, the, the trees. They've built the rainforest so that each level has a little bit of a section of it so it kind of keeps going up and you pass through it um, and uh, you'll hit about the 11th floor and uh, uh, doors will open and you'll come out into uh, what appears to be just a guess it looks like these must be a set of office suites and sort of reception areas, M must be some meeting rooms and things, and they must have some also some, some hotel space here, but, but kind of a very high-end uh, industrial re reception area, and you will see that there is a changeling waiting for you, and I will show you what he looks like, um, and he will, will greet you, and... Uh, <laughs> awesome! <laughs> He would go, hey, hey there, hello, <laughs> hey there, hey there. And he'll, he'll go over to the guy. My kid has cheeseburger. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can think of. <laughs> he'll he'll slip the, the concierge uh, a 20, thank him, and he'll turn to you and go, hey, hello, uh, I, I, I am Abyssinian Max. Abyssinian. Hi. Uh, Hello. How, takes your hand, you. soft fur. You can see oh. that his claws are are manicured. You know, all done very. You know, with the the polish on them. Ha. Hello. So nice to meet you. Oh, so nice. And and who is this lovely young thing? Hello. I'm John. John. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was that, but uh, no, that's fine too. You're, you're a lovely young man as well. Hello, hello, very nice. That's a job uh, with the boots. You got that working, aren't you? Good, good. Oh, great, great, great. And uh, then the, the 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 little fairest here is. Oh, you call me Andy. Andy, Andy. I am Max. You can call me Max or Abyssinian Max or Abyssinian, but mostly Max. Most, 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 mostly. Abby. No. No, 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 don't you have to call me happy, but... Uh, Nobody lets me make up names for them. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, that's that's darling, but don't. Um, so, uh, <laughs> and uh, he will, will, will lead you guys through. It looks like they've got uh, a lot of things going on here. They're clearly office workers, kind of doing projects. It looks like some of the area seems to be devoted to kind of craft projects maybe or maybe they're doing some construction things off one way. Um, looks like some other people working at computers off another way. Um, but it'll lead you into what what appears to be sort of the executive penthouse for this area. Walks you in big double doors, uh, plush carpeting, you know, the, the large bar off to the side, the the couches that are inset sort of in the floor, fireplace, big balcony, all this stuff, and you will see there are a number of people kind of moving around. The, the, the room is has uh, probably about half a dozen changelings uh, moving around through here. Uh, it seems to be a lot of uh, fax machines and computers and things set up around and about. Um, and uh, Max will, will walk, walk in, and uh, he will... Um, uh, sort of, <clears throat> and uh, uh, you will see uh, a Ferris gentleman, uh, and I will screen share this, has that sort of brilliant, sort of Ferris perfect skin and so on, and on his cheek there, you will see he has sort of a uh, lash mark, that sort of uh, mark that you guys know sometimes are left on your, your skin when, when you're struck in particular by a keeper, and it's that sort of constant wound that sort of hangs there on him that actually still bleeds a little, um, and has that sort of those golden eyes, and he will walk over across the room to you. You see Again, that sort of pattern of 
of flowers around him. He has the full-on uh, mantle of spring uh, sort of hanging in the air around him. Um, and you'll see sort of dogging his steps is a very short darkling changeling who sort of stays at his side with eyes that are sort of broken and blue there and she sort of trails along beside um, a little bit like a pet um, but kind of clearly following and watching him and watching you guys uh, but he will step up and he will say hello hello uh, you must be the new motley I am uh, I am called beck and call I am uh, the uh, chief vernal oracle uh, prince you may call me the prince or the CVO either way um, it is very good that you've uh, you've come um, Max uh, why don't you go I've got those things set up for them over there off to this side why don't we come in and sit down on the couches we can chat uh, would any of you like something to drink Certainly. Uh, we have wine, uh, so coffee, something. And he uh, leans over to Morosa and says, what should I have? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you have coffee? <laughs> coffee. Oh, excellent, excellent. Coffee. And uh, you miss scorned, was it? Coffee would be lovely. Yes. And uh, Mr. Smith. Uh, water. <laughs> water. All right. I'll have that. You'll sit down, and then again, that discomfort of your suit as it kind of stretches on you, and there's little tearing sound. <laughs> yeah. the, the, the sound you can of hear the, the cummerbund, the, <laughs> the velcro <laughs> on the cummerbund. <laughs> you'll see, so, uh, and you'll see Max will come over, uh, and he has a little bag. Uh, looks like it's made of, uh, sort of handmade of silk. He has a set of these. Has the uh, logo for the uh, the Aria Resort. Um, and he'll reach very carefully and hand you each a bag. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, 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 small token. Uh, uh, essentially a small gift of uh, that uh, uh, there's a, there's an assortment of things in there you might in, might enjoy a, a minor minor goods I, I hope you don't mind I, it, I, it's my season so I, I always like to to gift and give during this time very kind thank you Max hand you one uh, the Max will hand you uh, to John kind of hold it out in front of you you see it's got tassels on it so you see it does catch Max his eye as he's holding it and he has to get it steady <laughs> before he hands it to you. We can totally Thanks. disable that guy with a laser pointer. <laughs> <laughs> I could invent a really big one right now. Yeah. What's in this one? <laughs> My arch foe. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably his endurance, so you probably don't want to have all kinds of flashbacks. <laughs> Clarity oh, breaks. <laughs> we give him a nervous right. breakdown. <laughs> and Morosa too while you're there. No, no, guys. <laughs> just one court without a. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just realized that the sanity of this group is now overwhelmingly the. <laughs> <laughs> social lacking abilities of the intellectuals <laughs> and one sane person. <laughs> Who's an ogre. Yes. For God's sake, people. <laughs> totally on you. Good. <laughs> you have to keep us in check. <laughs> so, um, it's so good to finally finally get a chance to, to meet you. Uh, I've heard Something about you through the grapevine, and uh, what have you uh, heard? Nothing but nothing but good things. Nothing but good things. Good. Okay. That, that uh, you have 
quickly move to take on tasks. You've been very good about uh, completing them, and uh, you've done them uh, done them very well, which I can certainly appreciate. We often get changelings in here who uh, aren't able to really rise to the challenge. They aren't results driven um, as uh, they need to be. Um, so that's that's it's good to have uh, practical minded, smart changelings here in our freehold. You know, it's funny you could say you should say that. Yes. Just looking around, I see several ways that I could actually triple the power efficiency of every device in this area. Really? If if you need someone to go to work on it, you know, I might be willing to at some point. But we can discuss that later. I just wanted to let you know. No, I always speaking of practicalities. I, no, no, uh, I always always looking for ways to to leverage our uh, material resources to to gain us a a, a better advantage. Um, you know, and when we can move towards a minergy approach, uh, uh, we can uh, create a, a greater synergies for ourselves. Minergy? Minimal energy. It's a new term we're working on. No, no, it's a, it's a, it's a good sort of impactful phrase that uh, draws together several concepts. Energy. Oh my. Um, <laughs> Just sort of pats your knee, like, don't say anything. <laughs> it's becoming. <laughs> so, uh, I expect that you have some ideas. Maybe we can do a little mind share here. If you want to, we can do some whiteboarding later. If you want, want to ask some questions, have some plans you want to want to work on, and I can sure. can maybe tell you something about uh, what we at the Court of Spring, the Emerald Court, what we bring to the Freehold, what we offer. Um, uh, and why we truly are the ones that are able to take uh, Las, v Las Vegas forward into the, the next decade. Oh. Excellent. Well, Excellent. W what is it that you do? And she sort of gestures towards like the the craft projects and stuff that were going on just because you know, she has done all of the sets and costuming and stuff, so her eyes always go to those kinds of materials. Ah, yeah. One of our big projects, one of our money makers that we're able to engage in each spring season is we're working on uh, party planning, party organization, and uh, 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 advancing uh, sort of party technology into the future. Um, we want to uh, really, really be proactive about our development of uh, entertainment and party uh, uh, technologies and resources. So one of the things that we do is we, we do have a, a sort of consistent industry setting up and running those throughout the year, New Year's, Christmas, those sort of things. But then we do specialize on those holidays that occur during our particular time. So we have, of course, Mardi Gras, Valentine's Day. Uh, we've got a very interesting work going on for President's Day, um, uh, St. Patrick's Day, of course, Easter. Um, Arbor Day's hard, but we have some new ideas that we're, we're kind of uh, toying with on that. And, of course, Cinco de Mayo. And there are a number of others. Uh, so it's, it's a project that allows us to bring together the talents of many changelings here at the court. Um, uh, and to uh, provide us with a rich financial base and a chance to express the kind of artistic vision. Um, often that, that vision in a spring court is sort of lost and uh, a disparate. Here we try to focus that like a lit, like, like a laser beam, but don't, it's not too loud. Um, uh, and uh, 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 on getting tasks done and, and, and really, we really want to monetize the creative energy that we have available to us. Andy stifles a yawn. <laughs> <laughs> but Marosa looks interested. It's just like, John is John is so... clearly impressed by this guy's uh, like language twisting abilities that rivals that of technology language. <laughs> Marosa's like, so what's your philosophy on uh, light and essentially the environment that it creates? Well, certainly that's more of an aesthetic. Uh, appreciation and aesthetic thing. I would leave that to some of our uh, developers in that area, but uh, uh, it's, it's. I would say it's important. Uh, I have a certain aesthetic appreciation. I like having good open light in the areas and so on. It, it, does that answer your question? You'll see the darkling next to him, who he hasn't bothered to introduce, kind of makes a face. 
And she goes... But... Yes? But she doesn't say anything, she just goes... Yeah. Um, it, like we... it answers the question. Yeah. <laughs> One of the things is, is that uh, a lot of the courts are focused on the ideas of preservation, protection, and survival. You've certainly seen that. You've met the other courts, so you know that they have their own particular pensions. We're all, in a sense, here in Vegas and, and in some ways trapped by Vegas. Um, and some of the people here, some of the courts, they conspire, they rail against, they hide. We, we're dedicated to pushing things forward. We're dedicated to uh, investing, developing, and uh, expanding the freehold. And we want to pay out dividends, and those dividends are in the form of pleasure, joy, entertainment, revelry. We are dedicated to giving changelings the opportunity to embrace their desires. So it's true that you're all promiscuous. <laughs> Promiscuity is a... Um, it's very, very 20th century term. We we, we tend to think of it as a common term. It just means having many casual sexual partners. I mean, it's, it is a word. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like energy. I'm like energy. Just say I'm like energy. It's your rustic. It's not John this time. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what she's thinking. Oh, God. <laughs> He'll shift in his seat and kind of look at you in that sort of fairest way. <laughs> he smiles. Uh, so funny. Um... I like to, to think of us as all kind of craftsmen, not unlike John, but crafting our own future, perhaps in some ways that revolves around uh, bringing us into the future of new language and new forms, which you may, as you're fresh out of the hedge, uh, may not be as uh, accomplished with. Um, you seem, though, fairly bright, and I'm sure you'll catch on. Uh, but uh, one of the things I want you to, to think about is uh, uh, what your desires are. What what can we do for you? I'd like the ability to move the stars again. I don't quite follow. Do you know a bunch of humans looking to party? Oh, hey. That's a good question. No, 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 no resistance. And she sort of stops and she goes. Uh. Well, there are always in Vegas humans looking for entertainment. <laughs> I choose at this point to pay attention to Marosa and stop. <laughs> so <there's just> dead <laughs> silence. <laughs> She's like. <laughs> She looks a little shocked because you both. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, <wait>. oh. <laughs> um, he will uh, uh, kind of watch. You will see a uh, what looks like a draconic Ferris come over. <coughs> Excuse me. She will lean over. The, the couch and whisper something in his ear and he'll say oh, oh that's right that's right um, and uh, he'll say uh, I also should tell you that in those gift bags um, we've placed uh, tickets for uh, Le Rêve Nouveau it's a, a performance at the win um, very much you were asking about light it's a light and water show uh, um, you might enjoy that. Uh, they're, they're open tickets. You just have to call and they'll, they'll get you seats for that. Oh, thank you. We haven't had a chance to see much in the way of the entertainments here. You haven't? 
No, you've supplied most of the entertainment, John. He'll kind of turn to Andy and he'll say, uh, so I take it the stars were in your previous time? Yes. I understand how difficult it can be to to move from those places to these. The one thing I think is so important is that you you are who you are now and you know that you're not controlled by your past. That's that's the message that we bring to so many changelings who are are still caught in those cycles, still caught up in those regrets and so on. And some of the other courts, I think, don't consider that, that that you can be who you want to be here. You can make yourself the kind of person you want to be. And certainly here in the spring court, we try to assist changelings in that process. But I told you who I wanted to be and what I wanted to do. But you don't want to go back, do you? Not particularly, maybe. There's a kind of a pause. You'll see him and the Darkling both kind of... <laughs> you say, with our kind, there are the brightest lures back. But, and he'll hold his hand up to his neck, the worst parts we forget. Hmm. Eventually you'll remember them, and then you won't. You won't want to go back. But if you're speaking of stars, I would recommend going up to the uh, top of the stratosphere. I understand there's quite the observatory up there. Uh, there is? Yes. Oh, well, thank you for the tip. I feel somewhat... Yes, well, at least I've been helpful in that regard. See? Very not so bad so. a person. <laughs> I didn't say you were a bad person. Slightly strange, making up words. <laughs> but that's okay. We're all strange in, in, in some way or another. Excellent <laughs> save. <laughs> well done. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a save. You know, people are strange <laughs> when you're a stranger. <laughs> Uh, so, Marosa, uh, if I may... She looks uh, a little surprised when you actually... <laughs> you, and I, I, I'm going to speak, and I, I, I don't mean offense by what I'm about to say. While you have the, the appearance of an ogre, you bear yourself something of the fairest grace? Um... Prince Maggot said that we were dual kith? He looks a little... Really? Yes. All, all, all of you? Um, not John. Oh. It's a very rare talent. It is? Yes. And we kind of look at each other and we go... <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> A lot of things happened. I think that's how you put it, right? That's that really sense. true. Well, what else can I tell you? What else can I answer for you? It must be the other questions that you have about Vegas and about the Freehold and about our courts. And she sort of says, well, if you're a member of the Supreme Court, what kind of things are you doing? You've spoken of the party event planning. But is that what you're doing, or that's one of are many you... tasks that we are set to? Um, uh, 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 it, can I speak more basely than I might otherwise? Um, yes, please. Uh, yeah, uh, actually, <laughs> basics are good. <laughs> um, we work to generate capital. A, a good deal of what we do is is financial activities that we then, in turn, some of those we reinvest into. Uh, the court, and he'll gesture around to the lavish accommodations, um, uh, and some of it we redistribute to the freehold, and a great deal of it we also put into to, to 
allowing changes to pursue their desires. Uh, we, if there are changes, if it's an artistic bent, we, we will support their crafts. Um, that kind of thing. Uh, we, so we do tend to have a mix of artists and hard-nosed businessmen, people who are, are practical. We like to combine those two paths uh, and uh, make something greater from them. Again, at, at, at risk of offending, synergize them. All right. And um, so let's say that someone wanted to go to school to, I don't know, pursue something, then you could work here and get enough to pay for your tuition? Certainly we can do that. Um, we're less about the debts. Uh, the Autumn Court is very much about how do I say this? Chaining people to uh, regretful decisions and uh, putting people in debt. So uh, we'll often take just a risk on someone um, or ask them to take a risk, to take a leap of, of faith, a, a chance, a gamble in that way. What happens if they lose that gamble? Well, uh, it depends on the situation that they're in. Uh, passion has a price, and uh, we attempt to bankroll that price. What is that price? It depends on what you want. Now, you've talked about wanting to control the stars again. There's only one place where that could occur. But we do know some people who work with uh, hollow crafting. What's who, that? Yes, perhaps uh, might be able to assist you in building a hollow that uh, performs as you wish it to. A simulacra, as it were. She looks incredibly skeptical when she's thinking this. <laughs> Consider her angle. Better than you. <laughs> so, what and do you get out of that? I guess is the question. What do I get out of that? Um, right. Hmm. Well, uh, it depends. Uh, sometimes I'll, I'll obtain service or favors or so on, or sometimes people will contribute monetarily back to the, uh, the freehold. Mm -hmm. uh, you, in doing so, you answer to the desires of our court in the sense that uh, the actions that you do are symbolic and you strengthen our court and you strengthen the freehold as a whole through that sympathetic magic. When you do those tasks, you help protect everyone. You still you're just saying words without talking again. No, I think I'm speaking fairly, giving you the pitch that I normally do. Hmm. So symbolically, it's about gambles. Yes. Big Look, wins, we're here. We're here on losses. the edge, the edge of a precipice. We're in a city filled with the friendly ones and we live here and we dare every day and that in itself we harness those those twists of fate and we survive and we live and we celebrate that uh, and that's what gives us strength that we can laugh and shout and dance and sing in the face of that and uh, uh, not not live with regrets. And if I look around, essentially, if she looks around, are all these people just the winners that are here, these changelings, or are there losers among them? Once, you know what I mean? Do you get any of that sense of, I don't know, people working things off? Um, why don't you make a Wits Plus Composure roll for me? Do I get the plus one die? Oh, that's right. If you it's see. Perception? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, Ooh, all big bonuses. Yay. Come Two. On, 17. Two? <laughs> 17. Yep, I got a 10 and then it rolled a 9. Okay. 
Uh, you will see, sort of looking in from one of the neighboring rooms, this woman. Uh, no smiles, no sort of happiness to her sort of demeanor when she glances in. And uh, when Max sees her, he kind of walks over towards that, and she'll fade back into the room that she's in, and he'll go over and shut that door. Huh. But everyone else in here looks bright and shiny and well-groomed and uh, striking, various ferrets, and everyone is... Uh, both in their mask. I mean, you can see that they all have all kinds of luxury hedge spun clothing and suits and things like that, and done to the nines. Really? Yes. And tasteful? Some. Uh, they do clearly have some uh, personal, uh, personal choices there, but uh, uh, for example, you'll see what appears to be a beast changeling and he may be a little more ostentatiously dressed than is absolutely necessary. With his epaulets. Like a doorman? Yes. <laughs> Wait, is he the doorman, or is he dressed like that? Because it no, he, thinks it, it looks, looks like, snazzy. Looks like he thinks it looks snazzy, like it's a uniform kind of thing. Okay. Not like a doorman, but something else, and he seems to, to you know, there are little military badges up on the chest and that kind of thing. Huh. All right. Well then, uh, I know you're going to be skeptical. You ought to be. You're young. You've just come out here. But I hope that once you finish all four of your tasks and we say, yes, come and join us here in Vegas, that maybe you'll consider uh, coming into the service of the Spring Court. You've been very gracious, and we do appreciate it. We did want to introduce ourselves so that you would have a better sense uh, in choosing the task. And we well, hope that and, we will. And I know that, regretfully, you are, are uh, uh, I believe, if, if my information is correct, you're, you're right now undertaking a task for the summer court. Correct. Yes. And, and that's the thing is I don't want – them, I don't want the winter court to give you the wrong impression about what we can do here, what how we can help you. Um, and she sort of stops and says they've spoken very little to that. Oh. Um, certainly not negatively. But certainly you've taken away something of an impression from meeting with them, correct? And she looks at him and she goes, No. <laughs> Everybody leaves us with an impression about everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> well, fair is fair. I will, I will let you go, and uh, I will have Max show you out. Um, if you'd like, actually, I, I don't know what kind of time you're running on. Uh, Max uh, was heading down to one of the restaurants. Uh, we have a guest chef in. Uh, from uh, one of the Michelin four star restaurants from France, um, perhaps uh, he could take the you to dinner. No, uh, <laughs> Michelin the, the restaurant guides. Excuse me, that sounds lovely. I think it would be ridiculous of us to miss this opportunity. Ah, yes. Thank you. Uh, Very Max, generous. Why don't you take them on on down? And he will will stand up. The little one stands up next to him when he does um, and uh, he will will reach over to, to shake each of your hands all right um, you see him kind of try to gauge who he's whose hand he should shake first and uh, notices that Andy and uh, John are kind of still holding back so he will shake Morosa's hand good all grip. Right. Uh, he'll turn to John reach out his hand to shake yours. I'll take it. Ah, good grip. Good grip. And Andy? Andy shakes his hand, but then she does like one of these little... 
<laughs> you see him kind of hold steady that sort of spring court full willpower you know he has all of the social skills he doesn't flinch but his lip does quiver just the ever slightest inside because you can't help it when that happens and he'll go huh <laughs> it's just this kind of smirk and wink as she walks away <laughs> she sashays away <laughs> and then it seems like she thinks she's out of earshot. She leans over to Rose and says, "I tried flirting." <laughs> <laughs> oh <my> God! <laughs> <laughs> he is a cutie, isn't he? <laughs> Max will go. Ah, yeah, Sue. See, we can go down to the uh, now. Uh, He'll walk you out to, to, to the elevator. He goes, so we go to the fancy French restaurant, or, or if you guys want, we go to one of the buffets, or we go to a steakhouse, or, well, you know, uh, I got the card, so what do you want? I mean that we can have as much as we want of whatever we want? Yeah, yeah, it's on me. Well, let's try the fancy French restaurant then. First, right, you know. <laughs> sure, and we can go get some dessert. Uh, there, there's, there's a, there's a, there's a cheesecake industrial complex down there, so uh, we can go oh, there. Fantastic. Bigger than Cheesecake Factory, and uh, we will uh, uh, take you guys on inside and kids go down, and uh, he will take you to this very nice French restaurant. When the when the the, the maitre d sees him, oh yes, 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 Mister Mister Max, uh, please come in, come in. And, you know, there's this weird image of this large cat sort of looking. You see, every time he passes by uh, a place, there's lots of fish dishes here, and he kind of leans over and looks <laughs> at them as he goes by. And um, careful, you'll get fur in them. I do. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> He'll sit you down, and uh, uh, essentially, uh, uh, the the maitre d will come out, and he will say, if you'd like. Uh, we have uh, a full chef's tasting menu. Uh, I can have that brought out for the table if that would be good. Um, that would be and perfect. then is there anything else? Right. And is there anything else that uh, anyone else would like as well? Uh, maybe supplementals? Holds the menu out to you. I would like a menu well, that's in English. Well, let's see here. There's all the appetizers. Ah, <laughs> sir, I'm afraid it is all in French here. Uh, Has I could Andy had time dessert. to learn French yet? <laughs> <laughs> has she bought language? <laughs> I don't think she has any languages though. <laughs> oh wow. Well. So this is this is just a regular restaurant, right? It's a very nice French restaurant. You should make a Where's the surrender pie? pie? I'm sorry, sir. The what? Surrender pie? Surrender Whatever pie. Whatever it is you guys eat over there that makes you give up in every war. Oh, that's just and off color. Okay. <laughs> Max will go. Ah, uh, uh, dude, dude. Uh, he'll go. Uh, a young man, very new. Go. I gotta let it out somewhere, guys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and the the maitre d says, I, "I will bring you a surrender pie." <laughs> oh, <laughs> we all. I off. moved my chair it's away okay. from. It's okay. From you don't have to do that. He was just joking. He's just very bad at jokes. Just, he's horrible at them, actually. No, 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 no. There's, there's no word. For Mr. Max, I, he, he, a good friend of the restaurant, oh, very helpful. I will, I will. I, I, it is, it is duck off the water's back. You know, is how, how we say it. Duck um, off the and, water's back. And he will head on. Makes sense. Duck off the water's back. That and energy. That just. He goes, yeah, I'm energy. That's a new one. It, I, I, I had to ask like three times. I didn't get what that one meant. Minimal I... energy. So everything's got to be done minergistically. Okay, it's not just what... energy. Oh, it's minergistic. Don't say that word anymore. I know. Anyway, <laughs> hurts. But again, beautiful meal brought out. Multiple courses. You know, soups, salads, all kinds of appetizers brought out. Several different, again, shared dish. Beautiful red snapper that's been beautifully poached. That's brought out for you, and uh, uh, you know, 
wonderful roast lamb that's done with a kind of a uh, uh, a mint sauce that's been baked on in a, in a glaze, and uh, all kinds of, of food is brought out for you uh, to taste and try. And it is lovely. Some of it incredibly rich. Um, he does provide what is a kind of a, uh, looks like a, 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 a sort of sophisticated French uh, pot pie that he will put out there, and he puts it out, you know, puts that out very specifically in front of you, John. Uh, this is a pot pie. It is perhaps not what you were thinking of, but uh, is tasty. I kick him uh, under the table. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I surrender to your amazing etiquette and fine taste in chosen food. Oh. And... Uh, you he'll walk away and Abyssinian and goes, Ah, it's very good of you. You know, I I, I understand, you know, I, I've done dealt with a lot of wizened, uh, and uh, sometimes you you know, I know a world just seems like it hates you. You know, that's 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 always been my impression is they just get kinda don't like things and then they get kinda itchy like like you're wearing a bad suit, you know, that kind of I thing. am wearing a bad suit. <laughs> oh, no, that's gotta doubly be problematic, but uh, <laughs> it's not so much as bad, it's that it's a suit. Yeah, it's the not bad. Is inherent in the suitness. <laughs> I said, but I mean, it looks pretty good for what it is there. But uh, you know, if you need oh, a tailor, you. I can get you <laughs> the name of a tailor. Oh, I'll be he... building my own suit. Oh, here on out. thank you. Bil building? Is that the right? Word? It's no, that's the right word. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right then. Beautiful meal. Um, finish up. You, you guys quite. Quite filling. He he invites you. The dessert card is brought over, with all the various French cream pastries and pies and things like that. And Max will invite you guys to to take what you want. We're good at like, that. We're very good at taking what we want in that way. Does my pie look like it's been lightly? No. Are there macaroons there? Oh yes. Ooh. Beautiful. He wants wants to, to take them home so she can look at them because they're pretty. Yeah. Okay. They taste well, delicious. And, <laughs> and, and eat them. <laughs> Lemon. <laughs> Lemon and mint. He, you can tell that Max really wants to make a positive impression, and he's pleased that he's got the corporate card. Um, so so he will do that thing with, you know, if there are extra desserts that you want to have packed up, they'll they'll put them in one of those beautiful boxes, you know, it, it, everything. Every leftover that's there is rolled up into a silver swan and, you know, eyes painted on it and chocolate and brought out to you. And, uh, oh, so we have a whole flock by the time we're done. <laughs> yes. That's, that's, I hate swans. All right. <laughs> that's he will, awesome. He will then, you know, uh, say, uh, do you guys want to go over to the cheesecake place, or are you guys all yes. full? Okay. Yes. <laughs> and he'll take you over there. Again, you get the sense that he loves being able to, to show off and being able <laughs> to, to, to buy things for people, and he just he's enjoying himself, you know. And if you as you guys are walking along, if you see something that catches your eye, you know, a little baubles or something, and the th oh, he'll stop God. and go, oh, oh, here, let me, uh, uh, yeah, we'll get you one. Uh, hang on one second, we got an account here, and he'll, he'll get okay. you. Some <laughs> After the first time this happens, <laughs> someone figures the pattern out fast. I think. <laughs> and he's like, oh, I want that. And, oh, that's wow, that's awesome. I love those sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> and I picture Andy with with all the bags. Then at the end, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll actually go and get someone to uh, take things down to the car for you, uh, so you guys okay. don't have to walk around with all this. Um, awesome. And uh, uh, he Is gives he just you just randomly buying us stuff too. <laughs> if you see stuff that you that you like, he's, he's trying to, to to make a positive impression. You can tell that probably there is a limit to that. <laughs> <laughs> if you have some, so it's a, but <laughs> John's gear started spinning it for a second. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they probably don't have large machinery shops at the. That's what I was popped in my mind. I'm sure in the middle of Vegas, they're all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> Try to buy the fixtures from the office. <laughs> <laughs> no, the um, most probably the, the most interesting, interesting thing to you are the little like uh, uh, you know 
little toys that have all kinds of electronics in them and things like that that they have as as demos and displays. With I need some all of kinds those. of. And he'll he'll, again, he'll buy some things for you guys. Be very pleased. Now, and if they have one of those bolt candy shops, yeah. Oh yeah. Or a bolt, shop. <laughs> bolt shop. No bolt shop. No, I don't think they have one of those. <laughs> Unfortunately not. Yeah, but the 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 the, the candy shops that. That have the things where everything pours down in great fountains into the bags for you. Oh yes. <laughs> All right. At that point, Morose has been holding off, but the bulk <laughs> candy shop, man, oh. <laughs> that's a bad one. So we'll cut to a couple hours later. Uh, <laughs> Abyssinian With Max a... will 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 take you guys on on down to your car. He gives you his card and he says, uh, "Again, if you guys need anything, you just give me a call." Um, you know, it's, it's it's really really nice to meet you guys, and I, I hope that uh, hope we can get along, um, and uh, that would be great. It was Indeed. a pleasure to meet you. Thank you, pleasure to meet you guys. All right, well, I'll see y'all. Okay, okay, right, right. See, yep. see. All right. Nope. Bye. And you guys will head out. That was one cool cat. <laughs> How long have you been waiting to say that? <laughs> Since the French restaurant. <laughs> I the think that guy made me feel slimy. We're gonna gonna stop there for tonight since about a okay. quarter till twelve, and cool. that way you guys can consider and we can take up with that. Um, we are gonna bump next week. Uh, okay. If that's okay with no. you guys, because Wait, that's our no, that's, that's our, good, but no, it's our vacation week, <laughs> and and vacation, we'll, we'll, vacation. Yeah, uh, so we'll we'll just bump next week, and and hopefully uh, Andy will be will be able to re be recovered. That's uh, good. That's good. That. Yeah, yeah, because I was I was I was wondering if I, I if we could make it. I was hoping that I could, but now I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> no, we'll, just, awesome. we'll just bump uh, next week, and I will talk to you about about uh, it's Rob, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's, um, yeah. We'll, we'll talk about that. Okay. Okay. Um, and get that all worked out. And thank you guys very much. I will give you guys uh, three points. Okay. That seemed cool. reasonable. Yeah. Hey, Lowell, After we're done here, do you have a few minutes to chat real quick on Hangout before getting off? Sure. Sure. Uh, let me go awesome. ahead. And I'll end the broadcast here. Okay. All I'll right. See you guys. Ending the broadcast. Then.